just sit down, that's typical <laughs> isn't it? Welcome to episode 4 of Me Time with Ruby, I'm on the sofa again with Charlotte. Um, yeah, well, I'm just thinking what have you been up to this week? I have been up to absolutely nothing, but I'm so exhausted. <laughs> it's surprising how you can be so exhausted from yeah. doing nothing. I think a lot of people are feeling like that to be honest, I think a lot of people can relate to that. <laughs> mm. I'm looking forward to being able to get out and meet for picnics, which I yeah. think you're going to say a little bit more about yeah. later, but how's your week been? Oh, I've been all right. I had the jab, so, um, yeah, and I was, say, I was saying last week I hadn't got to my age bracket yet, but apparently I have an underlying heart condition that I only sort of half knew about, so that I got my text message to say because of your underlying condition. So I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> That's fine. Brilliant. So, yeah, so I'm all jabbed up now. I was a bit poorly for a couple of days, but, you know, survived. And here we are. So yeah, it, it, that's kind of been and my week so far. Well, we were just saying, where we? I think it was the AstraZeneca. Right, okay. So yeah, yeah. that seemed to be the one that our area was having uh, miles over towards Fleet for mine. So, right, okay. So it was fine, didn't hurt, no problem. I think it's just, I think at the end of the day, I would have just gone for whatever I was given. And I didn't yeah. know until I got there, and when I got there, it was the Pfizer one. Yeah. Um, but well, I you're not going to say no thanks, are you? No, not at all. <laughs> and actually, you know, with it, any of them, I just would have been quite happy. So yeah. it's really, really good. It just good. feels nice. It feels like you're moving forward, doesn't it? That something's in place, you know, that something's happening. Um, and that, you know, we're kind of moving towards a slightly more positive situation yeah. again. So yeah, real definitely. Life. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, for me as well, I felt I'd done my bit for others. Yes. Yeah, um, which is really good. Well, and there was a little bit of selfishness that you know, done my bit so that I can go on holiday. Yeah, as well. oh, I think a lot <laughs> of people. That happens, a lot of people will be thinking about that, won't mm. they? At the moment, they've been talking about that on TV a lot about you know, should I book? Should not I book? Yeah. You know, can I cancel? But it sounds like you know, if you if you book a package deal and all that, and you've made it clear, well, if things change, you know, can I get my money back? Then it sounds like actually it's mm. sort of safe to go ahead. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Charlotte says it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I say it's safe, so yeah. it's fine. No, I'm very worried if Charlotte <laughs> says it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's fine. But I was, what, I was, it was a holiday expert who said it, not me. Right, okay. <laughs> well, it was interesting because um, I was thinking that, you know, when I was doing my lives, because I've been doing, obviously, the Ruby La La lives, um, we do one on a Tuesday evening and one on a Thursday lunchtime. Um, but yeah, I, when I was doing them, I've been saying this is great for holiday mm. and things that you know that I, we had we got a, a mini dress in that was um, the material doesn't really crease and I was saying how fantastic it was for, for packing, putting in yes. packing. Um, so you know already talking yeah. about holidays even though we haven't booked anything. I think it's just that little bit of hope, it. isn't it? And I saw that you've got your lovely sort of fascinators out your hats just in case the races come back this summer and just in well, case also the weddings as yeah, well wedding. you know i don't know i don't know whether ascot i haven't heard whether ascot's on because we're, we're yeah. relatively close to ascot yeah. obviously yeah. but um yeah so i don't know things like that are, are on this year they're always so crowded aren't they that's the thing so you wonder how they do that but Mm, we'll have to wait and online it. races, <laughs> still get dressed up for your Zoom <laughs> online race. People did that last year, didn't oh, they? Did so, they? Yeah, oh, yeah, good. Yeah. I said, any excuse to get your hat on, yeah. get your fascinator out, because they've been lying dormant very sadly, mm. haven't they? Waiting for someone to come. <laughs> I think weddings, I mean, you know, I'm hearing of people sort of booking things for the autumn yes. and things like that, so I guess people will be looking at wedding outfits. Um, but yeah, we've got some lovely, lovely, I'm looking over there because they're over there. Yes. Um, some great fascinators and beautiful. I love how you put them out on the table as well. Really lovely. But we've tried to pair them up with bags and things because some people do struggle with putting things together. Yeah. So it is, it is you know. Yeah, I really like the way you sort of colour match and colour block things in here. It's, it's such a nice, it, visually it's so lovely, mm -hmm. but also as you say, if you kind of struggle a bit to go, what should this go with? I like this, but what should it go with? And well, it goes with that. <laughs> it's right Actually, to it. we have quite a few customers say, you know, I love this skirt. Have you, what sort of top would you put yeah. with this? And I might be a bit brave. Usually, like I say, I'm the one or two colour mm. girl. But now that you've helped influence me to three or more colours, um, you know, I might get a bit more daring and yeah. try and well, relate that with customers. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you kind of want to keep it simple in places, don't you? Because not everyone wants to be the rainbow. But I love the downstairs where you've got the pink and the grey together because that's such a calming colour mix anyway, isn't it? It's mm. so lovely. I love grey and yellow, actually. Well, that's the Pantone oh, colour of the year. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's the oh. colours. So, but you're, you're spot on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yellow is lovely. I mean, 
uh, some of the shades of yellow. I mean, I've always said I can't wear yellow, and mustard mm. is not my colour. People, at all, of, but people who are blonde say that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, there are some shades mm. I can get away with. So yeah. you know, it's, it depends really. For a nice so. sunny day. Yeah, it depends whether on. I've got my fake tan on as well. That's also. <laughs> Uh, yes. You know, that does change what you can, and what colour my hair is, I mean, I, this this is the thing at the moment, my hair is so drab that it makes me feel oh, drab, yeah. but you know, and I'm I thinking, I want to start buying some mm. spring and summer stuff. You need to get so. your hair the right, you know, the right shade yeah. before you start buying your colours, otherwise it might not um, work. The guy that does my hair says, do not use a home colour, and so I'm trying to hold out, but <laughs> I can't get an appointment but to get you're so, my... you're pale, sort of blonde anyway, so it kind of all blends in. Yeah, but it just goes dull. Shiny and I healthy. think it just goes dull and, oh. you know, but anyway, that's enough of my spa. <laughs> well, so what have we got to talk about this week then? Well, speaking of lovely sunny days, picnics, because as of, what is it, the, something like the 12th of April, I think, if all goes to plan. Was it the 29th of March? I'm wondering if it's the 29th of March. There's two dates say. coming up, isn't there? So I making the 29th the of March, we can now meet up with another household and up to six people. So outside. Yeah, outside, outside. So the only way we're really gonna be able to socialize with our loved ones in the immediate future is picnics, mm -hmm. barbecues, because it can be in private gardens as well, so it doesn't just have to be in parks now, so that's very exciting. And you can use the loo, can't you? Can't you go in oh, and use the loo? I don't, I don't know. Because oh, that is a big one for me. Just came on up, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I think so. I don't think you ever get a porta potty in your back garden, but um, <laughs> have you not got one? No, then? I haven't actually. <laughs> no, do you? <laughs> no, <just> several. <laughs> We've got a few bushes. <laughs> Maybe we could choose those. Some holes. <laughs> um, yeah. So I just thought it'd be quite nice, you know, as we, we are. I mean, it's been raining all day today, but it has been quite nice. The blossoms coming out. All the daffodils. Magnolias coming out. Magnolias well. coming out. Oh, it's just it's so wonderful. I thought let's talk about some lovely springy things. Okay. But UK spring, because obviously, as I said, it's been raining all day today, but then it was beautiful sun yesterday. So mm. let's just sort of and talk it's about it. It's supposed to be everything. warming up next week, and then just for Easter, I think it's dipping again, yeah. as it would do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so yeah, so I thought I just thought that'd be quite nice to maybe look at a few things that we can sort of look at. I mean, some things that are trending, but also just things that are nice to wear, okay. frankly. You know, in this kind of. Because also, I think the clocks go forward on Saturday. I think. Um, Pretty yeah. much sure it's the last weekend in March, yeah. so yeah. So we we get an hour extra day. A little bit extra things. because then obviously the thing is it might be a bit lighter, but it's still chilly. Chilly, it really drops, yeah. isn't it, in the mornings and in the evenings. Yeah. So obviously if you're having people over for a barbecue or something, you're going to be wanting something to keep you warm and not necessarily just because it's a bit of a celebration, isn't it? We're getting out. Uh, maybe something that isn't just the uh, cupboard that's been. No, the coat that's been stuck in your cupboard for yeah. half year. You know, and I noticed you're wearing the shackets that have just come into Ruby Something Lala. Something a bit special like this. And uh, it's interesting because I bought the short one, which I think we're probably going to talk about as well in a minute. Um, and I wore it in here because it can get quite cold, mm. cold in the shop. It's an old building. I mean, hundreds of years old, our building. Um, and it was divine. So it's very light to wear. Yes. I think you'd agree. It's you. You hardly. Know. It's all sort of like a cross between a cardigan, isn't it? A shirt and a jacket. Yeah. But it is so it's so amazing. warm. Is it wool? It is sixty percent wool. Wow. Yeah. Um, lovely. Really. Well, lovely. and that's important, I think, because for people who can't wear wool, you don't. You wouldn't want one hundred percent wool, would you? <laughs> because no, and I can't wear wool. I can't. But, but this it's doesn't really bother me at yeah. all. It's that's really amazing. Lovely. Yeah, and I just love the colours. You don't want to take that off. No, this is it now. Um, so yeah, so I thought this would be a really nice place to start. So I just thought I'd wear it. Any excuse. Um, obviously, as we were just saying, slightly cooler evenings. You want something you can just kind of throw on over anything. This has every colour that you could possibly need. Um, and it's just so ideal for that. And the fact that you have the slightly longer one and the shorter one here. And that's a slightly paler version of it as well, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite so sort of colour, one colour centric. I, I would say this is sort of a mainly a pink, isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, whereas this could probably go with a lot of other things and just. I have mine on the jeans. Yeah. 
this black stay as well. I'll just put and that just over a white t shirt top underneath, which is really. Lovely. It just peps up the look, doesn't it? And I think, you know, it, as I say, it's a little bit of a, a celebration, isn't it, really? Getting out. A little seeing, bit of a celebration. Seeing your oh, family look, again. The 21st of June, that's oh going to be gosh. like a major celebration. It is, so, yeah. it is. But the outside in the picnic is a little miniature celebration. <laughs> getting you ready, <laughs> getting you prepared for June. So, something a bit special like that, something that's going to keep you warm, is ideal. Um, Obviously, what you want to have is some comfort when you're sitting outside. You don't want to be sat there thinking, oh, my jeans are digging in and I've got my high heels on that digging into the ground, all these things. So whether you're kind of thinking trousers or if you're worried about the ants or dresses, skirts, <laughs> yeah, if you're sitting on the floor, spiders, spiders, yeah, if you're sitting on the floor, you don't want to be worrying about ants. So for some people, they might prefer a trouser. I am wearing these ones because um, when I took uh, my photos in these for Instagram, I fell in love with them. <laughs> and they are so ridiculously reasonably priced, I don't know why I haven't bought them yet. They're so comfortable. I love the material. They're like parachutes, aren't they? They're like a parachute. It's silk. interesting because I did them on the live today. Mm. And, oh, did you? Um, Great well, lines. I love them and they're so soft and comfortable to wear. The only thing I was laughing about was um, it reminded me a bit of. Um, I wore them and a bit of a gust of wind came and it made them cold and they oh, went up my skin. How funny. And it just reminded me of a shower curtain. You <laughs> bend over and it sticks to your bottom where you get wet. I must say, I haven't noticed it sticking to my bottom, but, <laughs> but there's plenty of time yet. But they are lovely. And like you say, I think they're, they're some, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think they're about £17. Yeah, £17. Yeah, £17. Yeah. And I just love the fact they've got the contrasting colours. You can stick your sandwiches in the side, no one will know. <laughs> I do you sit on them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Kids toys. They'll know if they're egg sandwiches though, because you've got to smell them. But, yeah, yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably have a few biscuits in there. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just thought these were really lovely, and I thought they'd be perfect for a sort of springtime picnic, because the colour's lovely and light as well. And also very they dry very quickly. So it yeah. did make me think about walking as well, because we yeah. do a lot of walking. Well, they're, um, they're a bit like a raincoat as well. They? All these things that they're like. Yeah. Quickly, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and obviously speaking of rain, we had to get the umbrellas out, didn't we? because this is the UK I love this. and if we're outside having a picnic we might need one of these but also boys. those are great if it's sunny as well aren't they they don't look out of place or if, if, they're, if they're waterproof but if they're or you know, if you're in Bridgerton <gasps> yeah I've been asked to go to Bridgerton your... but I had to decline because I do <laughs> me time with Ruby on the sofa first uh, yeah, and actually yeah. we've got the white one I'm going to show you the white because I just think if anybody's getting married we are Bridgerton ladies now <laughs> What's the chap's name in Bridgerton? Handsome House. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so automatic opener. Oh but my this God, one, look at that for a wedding. It's got the beautiful lace <gasps> on the inside. So that is definitely, oh I'm not that superstitious, so I don't mind putting no, it on my head. Okay. But oh, it always beautiful. makes you want to get married again, doesn't yeah. it? But um, yeah, and I was going to say the price, but I cannot read that because I haven't got my glasses. But I know. Fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. It's beautiful. You've got it's the lace. lace, and again, like I say, it is waterproof. So for those brides, yeah, I know. UK my, brides. I've been married twice, um, and on my first wedding day, first time round, it was every summer, every Saturday from the April was glorious sunshine. I got married on the 9th of September, and it poured with rain. And I wish I'd had an umbrella like this. I'm, I'm with you on that. Because we were ducking and diving, trying to. Second time round, it. <laughs> Beautiful sunshine up in Scotland, believe it or not. Oh, so, uh, lovely. Yeah. Fabulous. So you can leave this then. But I could have done without because it, it was the most torrential rain. Luckily, all of our venue was all in, indoors in the one place. Um, and so it was fine. But the next morning, we woke up blue skies across the fields <laughs> and just <laughs> fabulous. See, we were the way around. <laughs> we had that on our wedding day up in Scotland. And people, we just couldn't believe it because obviously Scotland's bit nippier mm. um, but it was beautiful mm. on our wedding day and then the next day we woke up and it was torrential uh, rain absolutely torrential rain. well maybe with my second husband i'll have the sun <laughs> <laughs> just hope your husband's not watching this yeah don't yeah. tell him that um, uh, actually a friend of mine got married in eastbourne and it was basically an open barn wedding there was no really nowhere for everyone to have gone if it had rained and it had been a bit like with you it had been raining 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 
And then that day was just stunning. It was like the, you know, the wedding gods had shined down and it was so wonderful because we could just be outside all yeah, day. It was lovely. Yeah. But, so it, yeah, great if it's sunny because yes. it's a parasol, but if it's raining, they're waterproof too. So Absolutely, cool. right. I'm jumping over. I know I'm going off camera for a oh, second there. Oh, you, Ray. Speaking of that, I just thought I'd carry on the theme. <laughs> Rain. Um, okay, so I say this in the blog and I completely believe this, I think a raincoat should have a bit of personality. Now that might sound ridiculous, but I just think rain is so glum and dreary that you need to be that little bit of joy in the midst of it. So all of my raincoats are ridiculous in one way or another. Um, I haven't picked ridiculous ones. <laughs> I've picked beautiful ones. <laughs> She hastens to add, because you can see me glaring at her. <laughs> no, no, I, mine aren't from here. Mine are, you know, just like really yeah. old ones that I've had that are like Union Jacks and things. They're yeah. just ridiculous. But I thought, I won't show you ridiculous things. I'll show you beautiful things. Like this lace one, um, which I just think I is that. so sweet. And I think, was it last year or the year before, the see-through Max were very, very popular. Um, but they were, they were just slightly slightly unwearable because you know if you if you're wearing something you know and they were completely see-through so if you're wearing something that you just kind of slung on and run out the door everyone can see what you're wearing underneath mm. and if it's a rainy day you haven't not necessarily going to have made that much effort so with this one you've kind of still got that lovely vibe but you've got and it becomes the feature of what you're wearing exactly that's my point <laughs> it's got to have a I bit of personality so yeah so i thought that that is just stunning and um, you know and actually, from wearing it for the photos, it's very comfortable yeah, as well. It's gorgeous. And I quite like the oversized nature of it because you can sling it over everything. You know, nice jumpers. big jumper, exactly. Yeah. Um, or even just like if you were wearing this, you could so easily put that over the top of, yeah, of your too. jacket yeah. because these are so on trend at the moment. People are going to be wearing wearing these sort of jackets and and things. I think all through the summer. Mm -hmm. But you know, UK summer does have rain. That that really looks lovely on you. I haven't really seen you in pink, but it, it is really lovely. I don't wear a lot of pink, I must say, but it's one of my favourite colours. Yeah. Speaking of pink, um, this is another gorgeous one fun. that I just had to show. If we were talking about raincoats, how could I not show this one? I love it again, like these, it would be going quite nicely with these. It's got the contrast, yeah. complementary black tortoiseshell buttons, so just really nice little details mm. as well as a bow. But just sort of that, again, as you said, that, that would be kind of the main focus of your outfit. So even if you're meeting up on a really rainy day, you've got this on, it's almost like, you know, a party in the rain, isn't it? It's like a rain dress. I've got that posh packer mat, because you've got the little bag bit, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Which you can also then, well, if it does rain, put that on and stick your sandwiches in there. Perfect, yeah. But, and your packet of crisps and your <laughs> kind of coat would go in there exactly. as well. Exactly. So, yeah. Got your own built-in But I think that a packer mat. Do we still have packer mat? I mean, it's, is that more my era? I do remember them, but I, I don't know if this would be counted as one. But I mean, I, and I, I said this actually sort of in the article that we in the UK tend not to get caught out in the rain because we either have a pop-up umbrella or a pack -a mac in our bags mm -hmm. without fail yeah. because we just never know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so again, this is kind of ideal for putting in your handbag. It's one of those. This one probably wouldn't fit in the handbag. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that's your raincoat. Oh, just chuck that down there. And I'll chuck that down oh, there. Got, my eye. got me eye on this one anyway. So. Right, just a couple of other little bits to show. So, oh, oops, there you go. Right, oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Good job we're not live. I don't know how we're just going. Don't notice that. Don't make notice. That. No, we'll just cover that. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I was saying earlier about the trousers and about the idea of having something comfortable. So I thought, what well, I'm not going to show anything like jeans. Or yes, the flared jeans are very on trend. But if you're sitting outside, you know, for the day or the evening, having a picnic or a barbecue, you don't want to be uncomfortable. So these elasticated waists are perfect, mm. and you can stuff your face. <laughs> and and you it doesn't have matter. Cream cakes. Sausages, cream cakes. You can have all the burgers. You can have all the cream cakes, all the sausages, and it doesn't matter. Because, you know, the, the, the magic of elastic. Um, and I love this little leopard print detail as well. So you're still a bit sassy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can still be sassy yeah. on your and you've got your pocket, so you can put your biscuits in there as well. I'm always trying to find places to hide biscuits on myself. Um, and I just thought, you know, something like that. That's just a really lovely yeah. look, isn't it? Those two colours together, it kind it of brings up the leather. Actually. Just 
so pretty. And I found these together. So you've obviously put them together. So I haven't even had to think about this. You've done it all for me. You can just find your perfect outfit. That would be so nice for a picnic. Um, and then, sh I was gonna say shopping, but it's probably not the correct technical term. Shopping that lacy mac over the top. Yes, oh, absolutely. It, it that would goes. be lovely. It's yeah, not like really you've lovely. just got something horrendous out your bag that doesn't go with yeah. you. <laughs> just drag <laughs> this little old plastic bag out and put it over your head. No, exactly. And I mean, I just saw this oh, downstairs. I just, I just thought I'd it. bring it out just for fun, really. Mm. <laughs> but you know, you could, I mean, I'd put this with this dress obviously, but I mean that with a little prairie dress, which is yeah. spot on for a picnic as well. The reason I'm little ankle boots maybe. I mean, flip -flops, ankle boots, you're picnic whatever. ready, aren't you? And the thing is, you know, soon the pubs will be open as well. So that's an ideal look for the pub as well. So it's a kind of, you know, just giving people ideas really of ways that we can dress up, but be comfortable. Mm without being too overdressed, because I think we are going to all get very excited, aren't we, that first day. <laughs> we're all going to just put on like 10 dresses and go out. But like, let's take one dress at a time. <laughs> let's accessorize it nicely. And just, you know, something, I, I really want to wear that now. That's <laughs> really nice with that dress. But these prairie the dresses. Of March, you can. You've got a few of these in different sort of sh shades and colors, mm -hmm. I mean, these tear dresses and different styles. I like them because they are so versatile. So yeah. You know, I've got one that's similar, that I've got the sort of one in autumn colour. Mm. Um, and yeah. it's great because it's great in the summer, the yeah. flip flops. Yeah. Um, and then I wear it with sort of boots, um, and then I put a polo neck yeah. underneath it. Yeah, it, it can just, be so easy you know, through dress the winter. Up. This one's lovely as well, I don't know if you can see it on the um, camera, but it's got the slightly high necked collar, which is so, so oh, sweet. A granddad collar. Yeah, right? the granddad collar, which is, you know, again, very trendy. Doesn't sound, sound it, but it is. <laughs> I, and I thought that was quite trendy. I had quite a lot of, um, when I put this up on Instagram, I had quite a lot of people saying how much they love the pattern. Because it's like China, isn't it? It's that China yeah, pattern. I suppose so. And on a lovely sunny day, who doesn't want to waft around the garden in that? I mean, it would look fabulous. Very Victorian. Isn't Very it? Victorian. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. Anyway, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So, so when am I coming over for a picnic? <laughs> well, I'm not coming to your house until I can use the loo, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely not. There's no way I am feeling no. anything until To be fair, it. living in the apartment, you'd have to go up like three flights of stairs to get to it anyway, so <laughs> it's, it's a cop out. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's interesting, I really found that helpful actually because. You're right, I mean, maybe you're, the first thing I'd do if I went for a picnic is grab a pair of jeans because they yeah. look great, but actually, after 10 minutes of sitting down and six, sausage, six sausage, sausage, yeah, sausages. Another and reason why these dresses are perfect. Hide the food, baby. Yeah, and also, <laughs> I like the fact of wearing something longer if I am going to wear a skirt or yes. a jacket because. I do struggle to get up off the ground yeah, nowadays, yeah. so you know it's not it might not be such a pretty sight. So at least by having <laughs> but a I mean, decent length to my skirt. Do you know what? Even if you're on a chair, when you're kind of sat down, and if it's getting chillier, you don't really want you know little shorts mm. or a little skirt mm. on necessarily at this point of the year. You want something that is going to just cover you up just a little bit more with one of your gorgeous blankets. Yeah, I was just thinking about blankets. You know, the, you've got all the, yeah. the lovely cushions as well. You, you could just go full matching with your blanket. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we should um, uh, get some sort of basket type bags in and stuff mm. as well, because I think it is yeah. going to be, certainly this season, this summer, yeah. it's going to be concentrated on the outdoors, because yeah. we're not out of the woods mm. yet, are we? Well, so. I think, yeah, those, those sort of prairie items are, are you know, the, the lace umbrella, these prairie dresses, baskets, you know, all those things are sort of real rustic, kind of coming back to your roots kind of vibe. Yeah, there. And, yeah. And yeah, I think that would be really lovely. Yeah, no, I think it would be good too. So, yeah, so clocks forward at the weekend, yeah. picnic baskets out the loft. Out the ready. Um, <laughs> have a look on Ruby Lala's website, www rubylalaonline.co.uk <laughs> we've, we've positioned it lovely and then it fell down as soon as we <laughs> started we yeah, start, um, yeah. <laughs> but yes so yeah have a look and and see whether you can find anything for a bar uh, barbecue or yeah barbecue yeah. or picnic and there'll be a few things highlighted on the instagram as well so yeah follow yeah. instagram yeah, so i would say facebook and, and things well it's, it's across it's both isn't it but i mean the things that we've sort of talked about here today i'll i'll put sort of highlighted on on the social media as well so if, if you don't want to shawl through the website trying to find it they'll be there right, okay. <laughs> easy to find so what have we got in store for next week have you got any thoughts or after easter maybe <laughs> what we're going to come into the summer so we
we might be able to sort of think about well, summer a bit more. <laughs> Easter, so maybe yeah. we ought to have a think about that. And I mean, yeah, I think with Easter coming up, we're going to have a few celebrations with that, aren't we? Different different people celebrate in different ways, so maybe we maybe we ought to up, up our ante and, and do some. I'm just wondering about maybe at some point in the next couple of weeks, maybe doing a bit of a wedding slot. Oh, as in not wedding dresses and brides, but yes. as in if you're going to a wedding. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well I mean, you might as well think ahead, might you? Because as you say, people are looking at that now. But yeah. Yeah, I think there's a few things coming up in the in the calendar, isn't there? So yeah. I think there's definitely yeah. some. I think just some lovely dresses, or just yeah, there's some pretty things coming in, isn't mm. there? That we can definitely highlight. <laughs> and also, we've obviously launching Ruby La La Man. Yes. Um, and if you saw my last saw Facebook live, husband, yeah. modelling. <laughs> my Gucci man husband, yeah, really? modelling. Um, yeah, it's quite funny actually, because he, he did have to breathe in a bit, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, because, because he'll, never, he'll never hear this conversation. Because of the COVID situation, normally we have like our models, but a lot of the pictures are, we've had to take at home in the bedroom in front of, uh, because we've got white wardrobes. You, you know, a lot of stuff that's on the website we've had to do because yeah. we can't really get too many people together. No. Um, we're trying to limit. I mean, mm. obviously, a couple of us have been in the shop trying to sort the shop out for opening. Um, and we can't really... Our models that we would normally use, you know, we'd have two or three together and it's stuff. So we've just been trying to limit So many that. businesses have been sort of having to find ways yeah. around these things, haven't they? And we're, we're going to have to find a, a decent male model. I mean, Dave, my husband's okay for the time being, but... Uh, yeah, love him. <laughs> But actually, the stuff, stock, really yeah. Yeah, the stuff was really lovely. Yeah, the stuff was really nice. Brilliant. And actually, when he puts it on, all three, I mean, we only have three items a couple of t shirts and a sweatshirt. But everything he put on, I went, I have to get one, we have to get one of those. Yeah. It looks really nice on you. Um, and I love so, the sweatshirt, the three colour yeah, sweatshirt. It was yeah. really nice. And yeah. Lydia, who works here, um, she's got the most gorgeous figure, and I'm always trying to encourage her to wear a dress or a skirt, but I've never seen her in a dress or a skirt. But, you know, there's some beautiful stuff that she can choose from and she honed in on the nice. male well, sweatshirt. Each so, their own, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we need someone to, you need someone to model it, so yeah. it might as well be Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the end of uh, this episode. Thank you very much for joining Charlotte and I. And as always Charlotte, you're just such a wealth of knowledge and oh. I've learnt so much in just this short space of time today. Um, so thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Yeah.